Hello, I thought I'd show you some of my Confederate clothes and other things that you haven't seen yet. Uh, all my clothes are laid out on my NJ Cicada Federal Issue Blanket. It is five pounds and it's rough like the originals and it has the US chain stitched on it. And my first jacket up here is what's called the mystery jacket or the mobile mobile depot jacket. It's a replica of an unidentified jacket in the Echoes of Glory, page 141, Confederate. Um, it's from the Deep South, and it's probably from Mobile, Alabama. It's natural gray jean wool and seven button front and I replaced the buttons with Missouri boot and shoe walnut ones because I didn't like the ones that were on there I thought these ones looked better uh, it's lined with cotton Ausenberg and it has a slash front pocket and uh, the trim dark blue trim is for my South Carolina unit I portray and the next coat is a uh, brown frock, a jean wool frock coat. And it has the same trim on it for my unit. And it has eight button um, brass eye infantry buttons. And it is handmade from a guy in my unit, so it's hand stitched as you can see and to go with it is the um, brown jean wool vest and it has five brass buttons and two pockets and standfall collar and it also hand stitched Next, I have um, cotton brown pants made from the same guy in my unit. Um, they have bone buttons and um, side seam pockets. And that's for uh, when it's really hot out. I like to wear these. And next to them, I have the dark blue jean wool pants. And they're mule eared. And they have the tin with the paperback um, buttons. And I heard a South Carolina unit wore something similar to this, so I thought I'd get something like that to wear too. Um, plus, I don't really see people wearing this color too often. And next, I have taupe on brown jean wool pants with pewter buttons, and they are mule eared also. And next, I have brown plaid. Um, and that's a, made of a cotton blend pants, trousers. And they had plastic buttons on, but I replaced them with um, bone ones. And they had the side seam pockets. And that's. I don't wear these. I haven't really worn them yet, but I'm probably not going to wear them too often, but I thought they were pretty neat, so. They're more like a civilian. I guess you can do it for a Confederate, though. And next to that is a brown canvas vest, and it has four pockets and uh, four uh, brass buttons, and it's notched collar. 
in civilian style. And then next, from the same guy in my unit who makes pretty much tons of my stuff, uh, he hand stitched this plaid shirt for me with bone buttons. And then he made me another one that was brown plaid with bone buttons. And that concludes the clothes section of this video. Now for my other things that I've gotten that aren't clothing related, I'll start with this. I got this from Village Tinsmith. It is the military cup with a bail. And it's four by four. And that works great. I love it. Cook things in over the fire and use the bale to get it out. I recommend Village Tinsmith to everybody. And uh, next, I have uh, authentic original silverware that I've gotten from different places. Um, flea markets, um, antique stores, um, even from my grandma's old friends. <laughs> and these three knives I got from Goodwill, believe it or not, all three of them for 35 cents. So you just have to keep an eye out and you can find them. And it's better than having the replicas because actually I got these really pretty cheap, all of them. And next I got a shaving brush and picked that up um, at a flea market, really cheap. I don't have a shaving um, the blade yet. I've been trying to find an original, um, fairly cheap, and I haven't got one yet. Still looking. And this is a pot scrubber for cleaning the pots. And these are my different cravats. Um, I made the first three. And the second two are silk. And I got those from Goodwill for $1.50 each. I thought that was a pretty good buy. And next, I have my bracers. They're uh, civilian style. And they're made on a hand crank uh, sewing machine. And the button buttonholes are hand sewn. And they only have one buttonhole instead of two in the front. Um, so they're different than most. And then I have a scarf my cousin made me, made of wool, for when it's cold out. And then here I have a Missouri boot and shoe mattress ticking haversack. And on the website they say they're out, but I actually called them up and the woman was really nice. And she said they have one left over, so she actually let me have it and I was ecstatic and I love it and it has one of their um, wood buttons as a closure that they sell and it's just great I love it and next I have a original mason jar quart size um, 1858 and it reads Mason's Patent, November 30th, 1858 on it. And next are just some glass little vials in a uh, tin container that I keep like spices and um, powdered milk and stuff in that when I take to reenactment. And here I have wooden dice I've actually made and that's for my um, chuck -a luck game that you've seen hopefully in another video I made for gambling and here I have a brass match safe and it looks uh, just like one in Echoes of Glory Arms and Equipment of the Union 
So I thought that was pretty cool. And here is 100% rag wool um, gloves for when it gets cold. And that concludes um, my stuff. Hope you liked it. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you. Goodbye.